So, yeah, we are. Hello, everybody. Let me just one, two things. Okay, yeah, sound working on out too. Let's get started. We are starting out a new session of Nessus. I have had a, uh, a I have had my experience with that game already. They had a fresh version now out, and I am more than eager to try out what's new, how it plays out. I just wanted to feature that game again because it's just that that good, you know. It's still a very early access thing, and this playlist's goal is also to uh, feature the development of this game a little bit more in detail so i hope my save files won't get corrupted in future versions and uh, let's see what'll happen so uh, if you are new to this game Nessus lives somewhere between an arpg something like uh, terraria just with a different perspective and RimWorld in terms of uh, colony management you have some exploration you have some uh, minecraft like uh, crafting where you can put practically pick up almost everything and uh, place it down where you want it to. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. So let's uh, call our settlement Iconville. As you see here, we're uh, we're, we're founding a, uh, a settlement right from the get-go. Why did my chat disappear? There we go. I want my chat here. So, well, it's working on out. Okay. Somehow that uh, window didn't uh, pop, at, uh, pop in. So we have Philip the Elder. Give me a quest. You want vampire fangs. Yeah, yeah. So, when you're starting out and you enable all these uh, these structures here, you can disable it too, but I don't recommend it. You start on out with a house where you can sleep at. You have your, uh, you have your entrance to the dungeon, which is pretty cool. And you also start out with a storage container, some food some maps you could use but we're not going to travel too far right now what we're going to start with is we're going to chop ourselves some wood and get ourselves some equipment and then we'll see what we're uh, what we're up to here some exploration of the dungeon would be nice hey lazy camper welcome yeah i figured uh it's about time to give this game a little bit of a feature again because uh the new version is some is something I was so much waiting for. It's this one game that I'm really, really, uh, really hyped for it to get done. That's why I'm going to uh, feature it now a little bit every now and then here on this channel to uh, showcase the development because really it, it's going to be something. I like the genre mix of Nessus a lot because it's uh, it has all those automation goodies has a uh, the last time i played it it had a very very refined user interface lots of good things going on there w um ways and means to make automation quite uh, uh quite an easy task nothing you need to look up guides for although i like it when people look up my guides i always appreciate if i don't have to look up uh, a guide if i want to do something so we have a wooden sword here not that much of a big fan so usually if you wouldn't have that house you would uh, need to craft yourself the workstation and uh, place it down we start out with a workstation so that's a good thing let's get ourselves a wooden pickaxe oh yeah the crafting guide is a pretty cool item too you uh you basically can use it like that you open it up and then you place something inside there and then the game shows you everything you can build out of that specific material. It's really useful if you find something new and you're wondering what the heck are you going to do with that. So, pretty cool stuff. We have now that pickaxe, so let's uh, see. I vaguely remember that stone was a pretty good thing, so let's check out the tool. Um, able to build a forge. Yeah, that's why I needed the stone in the first place. Alchemy table needs a glass bottle. Campfire. Hmm. Landfill to make some more land. Floors, doors, and skates. Yeah. Oh, rock lever. Nice. 
And we can make sand out of uh, out of stone. That's pretty good. Made an alchemy table because. Uh, Wait a sec, if I need a, if I need glass for the alchemy table and I can make sand at the alchemy table. I think I need some some extras there. But uh, this is already enough to make the forge, isn't it? So let's see. Add workstation to settlement. No, that's not the feature I'm looking for. Ah yeah, here. Only craftable. That's what I was looking for. So, give me a forge, I want. Mm. So, we don't have anything to smelt there. Let's see, weapon-wise, I don't think we can make much. So, ranged weapons are pretty cool, but they need arrows. And crafting arrows is a uh, pain in the rear. I could craft myself a wooden staff. And the past version, melee kind of sucked, and uh, pretty much everything uh, ranged was king. So we can make ourselves farmland. There's an alchemy table. A carpenter's bench. Ah, oh, that needs iron too. Eating trough. Storage boxes. We could make storage boxes. <laughs> Wonderful. Roasting station. Can we make a campfire somehow? Let's get dark around me. Gotta hop to sleep. Oh yeah, torches. These are extremely important, but I can only make them at the carpenter's bench. Sucks. Um, light sources would be really good. Skipping the night would also be pretty nice, but that's nothing you can't do here. Where can I? Spawn point set, no. So, we have some stuff we're growing there, I bet that's some food. Can I do- ah, no, here, torches. Can be crafted also here. Would have been very surprised if not. So, anything that could help me down there? Well, let's make ourselves that campfire at least at the roasting station so we can process some, some stuff. Don't need to build any new house right now. So, well, I, I'm going to make myself a bow. And uh, we're, we're going to craft ourselves some arrows. I pretty much expect that to be obsolete in no time. But uh, until then, I think it's going to be way better than the sword. Maybe I can't hunt that wabbit too. We need meat. If I remember correctly, uh, food... Is a thing we need to take care of quite soon. It's been a while, but uh, can I sprint somehow? No, that's smart mining. Err, controls, movement, move to mouse. At least that. Miscellaneous key modifiers. Quick move. Left shift. Pretty much what I'm holding down. So if that's quick move. I have quick move always enabled already. Bam. Swag it. Uh, problem with this ranged weapon is it's kind of sucky to shoot at something that's moving as erratically as this guy. Now he's hidden. Whatever, we have some food that should suffice for the moment. Oh, there's another weapon. Come on here. Pow. You can train my skills here. And also fetch me some food. Okay then. Let's place down that campfire and the 
roasting station, which acts like an upgrade there. So now it all it takes is uh, adding in some fuel. And that's providing some nutrition and a damage bonus. Hooray! Alright, let's grab ourselves a bit more. Oh, we have spruce logs and uh, other logs. So, I should be able to craft myself some stone, uh, some arrows. And we go underground finally. Or wait a sec. Did I bring enough uh, torches already? Not really. No torch, no fun. We can also refine those uh, arrows into fire arrows. Hmm. Nifty. Also, poison arrows possible or bullets, but uh, we're uh, not quite there yet. I'm going to craft myself as many of those arrows as possible. Shift left click does the trick. And uh, I think we're set. So let's uh, change our gear a little bit up. There it goes. Hey, blue bottle album. Happy to see you. So, um, the underground areas are pretty simple. You, uh, you have monster spawns wherever it's dark and uh, wherever you put up light monsters won't spawn anymore. This way you can pretty much clear out areas easily. And we're damn lucky. No monsters whatsoever and direct access to uh, iron ore. That's pretty cool. So we can't get upstairs and craft goodness. So let's see, what do we get there? Coins, recall scroll, always a good one. I'm doing great, except for a couple of uh, nuisances lately. We have, uh, kind of like in our neighborhood, a, uh, a drinking water catastrophe. Not like that, but uh, actually the catastrophe warning uh, department here in Germany took care of that. Uh, well, what's the, what's the thing? The, the tap water is not drinkable anymore, and that's the case since Saturday now. And it's starting to suck, you know? It's Wednesday by now. We can't, uh, we can't drink it, we can't wash ourselves with it, and uh, there are... The, the city does take care of it, but it's just a, it's a nuisance, like I say. But apart from that, I'm doing great. Oh, and it's too hot. So, Do you know us Germans, we are grandmasters at complaining. So we, I, I'm churning out a lot of copper ore here. Yeah, the worst part is the city can't tell us uh, when, when it's uh, going to be fixed finally. No, no, not wash with it. It's, it, it smells like dung. Really, it, it smells disgusting, that water. It also causes uh, skin irritations. It's really, really bad. It's uh, not something like uh, you, you only notice because the department told you so. It was like, uh, please don't open the tap anymore. It stinks. <laughs> we don't even know why. That's the worst thing about it. Nobody knows why. Nobody knows when it's done. I'm a, I'm a tad bit pissed about that. But enough about that. So, we've turned out a nice deposit of copper and uh, iron. So let's get back upstairs and uh, do something with that stuff. Because as far as I remember, these were... This is basically the stuff you're uh, looking for, you know. So let's... Uh... It's very Minecrafty, even the arrow. <laughs> so let's fetch ourselves one copper bar for the experimentation, for the sake of experimentation. But I want to uh, do the the iron ore first. Wait a sec. That's yeah. This is being processed first, and then it's processed like that. Okay. No, nobody. Uh, it's a it's a bacterial. Uh, it's. A bacterial. Um, pollution. That's what we know. 
it's uh, it's disgusting how vague the the city uh, keeps uh, everything about that. Doesn't feel uh, doesn't feel uh, good to be treated like that by your city, you know. But what can we do? I'm happy that this uh, stuff is getting fixed, and we have a container with fresh water right ahead, r right in front of my door. Uh, I'm extremely lucky in that regard. Other people have to walk further. I should say I really have to just walk over the street. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Did this thing work through the night? Oh, it splits the. No, it's uh, ah. Every process needs more than uh, one ore. It's not a one one for one transformation. I see. I see. So what can we do with the copper bars? Is this uh, is there anything? So we can make uh, copper tools out of that. Hmm. Okay. I am not quite sure if I want that. Oh, we can make uh, logical gates with that. And I can make wire with that. I can make a set of armor with that. And I can make a demonic bar with that. So that's the real purpose for that. Um, how much did I play this? Um, well, since my my memory is not the not the best as of late, I need to check out my Steam twenty hours. <laughs> so, some experience, and uh, I I reached somewhat the end of the content the last time I've been here, and uh, I was like, oh, I'll come back later. So. Here. Chow down, my man. So there's a traveling merchant. Let's see if he has something interesting for for sale there. I want to buy something. Rope. You need that to uh, get get yourself an animal domesticated. Brain on a stick. Oh gosh, I wish I had that money. It summons a uh, a mob fighting for you. It's pretty awesome. Potion pouch. Really good too. But, uh, well. Too broke. Too broke to go like that. So, we're going to store the valuable materials back home because I have uh, inventory loss enabled. Let's get back downstairs and see uh, how we'll fare. I remember, and that's a little bit cheesy, but I don't care about that, that, um, your um your best bet early on is to is to to hope for a dungeon loot weapon because most of the weapons you can craft pretty uh pretty much suck compared to the uh to the looted stuff that is so i'm not sure if i'm going to get through with that uh cheese that i'm trying to pull off here but i'm certainly gonna try so let's see can i equip a preferred our, uh, a preferred ammo trash can i found the trash can no. whatever i know that there was something for preferred ammo so they didn't fix that exploit either <laughs> i personally consider that an exploit you know so i'm also not going for uh, copper um tools as you see here mostly because Iron tools are basically already around the corner, and, uh, let's see. Yeah, that wooden sword works just fine. These guys are pretty uh, lame, weak, and kill themselves mostly already with the lava, so we don't even have to do that much. So let's see. The zombie archers are always the ones that uh, do make the most trouble early on. Oh. But as long as you can punch the zombie back, they are almost not an issue at all. I 
I do have a bow here also in my up my sleeve if I run into something really nasty ranged. That's basically why I have these. What I love about this game how much of a how much of an ARPG vibe it gives uh, it gives off. These parts here especially I like them. So the uh, archers can't be cheesed, of course, with corners, as you see here. The corner is the uh, obligatory bane of every AI. <laughs> Get outplayed by the might of the corner. There's more critters. What we're looking for is a vampire crypt. Vampires drop um, have a uh, have a very very powerful uh, drop chance. Or item drop change, you should probably call it. Here, Liz, Tom, hi there. So happy to see you, and thanks for the kind words. Just doing my job, as you all know. Always happy you guys appreciate. So, let's see. Just some harmless goblins like, sneaking around. Fast forwarding here a little bit because I'm looking for something in particular. Well, okay, I'm pretty happy that the wooden sword still kicks uh, zombie butt so hard. Oopsie. Swap to the sword too slowly. But it's not like I have anything too important on me. HP are pretty pretty damn low though, so let's uh, let's probably head back. I've discovered enough iron veins to uh, to get busy a bit, you know. And during that, we can easily regenerate some HP. Broken copper tools—they're basically like ore drops. Break some jars. As you see there, as long as there's darkness, enemies pour out again and again. Oh, we found some shuriken. Shuriken are pretty cool too. They uh, they are pretty much loot only, but their big advantage is they have a sick attack speed. I love to use them to burn down enemies. That uh, arcs that need to get uh, to, to disappear really quickly. So let's see. But there's one thing I learned about the zombie archer: I almost never get them down without them hurting me a little bit. It's like they come around the corner already with a arrow on their uh, on their bow, ready to uh, shoot at me. There's not much I can do against that. So, what was that stuff again? Clay. Yeah, let's get ourselves some clay. I love the Minecraft vibes that are mixed into this game as well. I like it that it doesn't feel forced onto on top of the game. It's like a, like an, a feature that belongs here. That's pretty good. A lot of things I appreciated about Incess in the very first place. Hope the devs keep going like that. So with the new version, we have mainly uh, only one big thing I'm going to feature in, in the course of this series, in case you're wondering. Um, and that's a new uh, cave for the swamp biome, which is really cool because uh, in the last version, the swamp biome was only something you could enjoy um, on the overworld map. As soon as you went underground there, it looked the same as here, which kind of sucked a bit. But, you know, early access, whatever. This game is already pretty awesome in some regard. Hey guys, Dylan. Thanks, man. Let's 
stream only is as good as the audience. There you have it. Deal with that. So, oh, that looks like uh, exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, there's the first vault. So let's hope I'll find something tasty inside there. But it's not the vampire vault. Mm, okay. It's not what I was looking for. Okay. But I think I'll go upstairs after that one. Oh yeah, this one comes with a trap. Don't step on that plate, it's really not cool. So here, see, there's a pressure plate. You have different approaches you can take. You can either uh, destroy the pressure plate or pick it up, or uh, you can open up the wall here, pick it up like that. There's, uh, there's various options. So what do we have here? A weak noble horseshoe. Okay, ah, that's for that goes into the trinket slot. Speed potion, gold bar, recall scroll, enchanting, quick enchanting scroll. I can enchant something with attack speed with that thing. Cool stuff. Let's make sure we don't step on the pressure plate there. And let's let, let's get ourselves more iron. Everything will be more fun with better uh, weapons. <laughs> See you, blue bottle. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one, man. And take care too. Let's open up that one. I'm actually more interested in iron tools than I'm interested in iron weapons right now because they'll have way more punch. So let's see. That's 57. How much will that be? Mm, I hope enough for at least a iron pickaxe because I'm tired of that slow mining speed of mine there. Don't like that. Get out of my bed, old man. It's, uh, it's ridiculous, but uh, it is as it is, you know. Whoopsie. Tab out, it pauses. Dang it. So, I'm sleeping through the night because uh, just like uh, it, it should be in games like these. There's monsters spawning outside during the night, which is pretty cool if you want to farm and fight. But uh, we're, uh, we're 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 up for different things. So let's start on out with uh, smelt more stuff. Ah, okay. So if i remember correctly we do need a starting investment of iron made at the iron anvil we weren't lucky enough to get ourselves an iron anvil yet so we need a total amount of 14 iron bars to uh to make anything happen yikes So, a health potion is something I want to have in my inventory. Let's see, I just want to swap out things I'll definitely not want to have on me at the very moment. Not too many things fall into that category. Don't need all the arrows in the hotbar. Surely not. Actually, the crafting guide doesn't need to be there either. Now then, I do have enough iron ore at least to make the anvil. Oh, good. good thing we can make the anvil at least here. Okay then. Uh, eight bars, was it? No? Or do, am I lacking something else? Any log. <laughs> I'm out of logs. <laughs> yeah. Sure. We're using the logs all as fuel. Oh, I already had a fireplace in front of my house. I didn't need to build that yet. I, I wanted my own. That one smelled of old people. I'm making my jokes here, but Philip the Elder is actually uh, a very, very powerful person. Don't mess around with him. He's going to kick your butt. You can also in the in the previous version, I I loved to use him to uh, destroy the first boss. 
I'm going to check on out if I can still make that exploit happen. So we are going to get ourselves... Uh, I don't have enough for a sword, so okay. Decisions have been made. I'm tossing away the uh, wooden gear immediately because it's just uh, not worth keeping that. So let's get back downstairs. I have enough torches on me to keep going. And most importantly, I have that uh, pick, which is just uh, the big upgrade I've been waiting for. What's the problem, though? I No, I, I can't go now. Hunger. We are not... I I'm not able to feed myself right now. So there's sunflower, but we're not going to be able to eat sunflower. Let's see if there's anything eatable on this island. I can't remember how that worked. Where you did get your uh, first uh, food from. Stone arrow. Okay. Apple saplings. Yeah. Let's see if I can find more of these. It's definitely a good start. Let's see, where's the apple sapling? There's the apple sapling. Zarina, yeah, hi there. You are absolutely right about that. Uh, it has a, a very close similarity to Kaplerf, except for this game has actually, how should I call it, a a lot more optimization than Capital Earth. Like, Capital Earth has a lot of development kinks. I don't want to talk bad about the game, it's just something I, I, I realize. User interface is a bit janky, there are pretty uh, annoying little bugs inside there, you are missing a couple of quality of life things that Nessess has in store for you. So, um, it's more like a more cutesy and uh, more refined version and less sci-fi. But uh, those games are definitely comparable. You're right about that. So the apples provide a nutrition of 15. That's good enough for now. The blueberries have a nutrition of 10. Also good enough for now. Oh well, we can't go downstairs with that. I just want to have some food in my pocket. When the, nutri when the nutrition bar, the hunger bar, goes too low. Rickwave, hey there. So, Nessess is a hybrid between an ARPG, a colony survival simulator, and uh, something something between Terraria and Minecraft. It's it's really hard to tell. You you have a big. Uh, you have a big world to explore, you can make your own settlement, you can automate it with villages, you can craft a lot, you can pick up every block and use it uh, and craft it and place it. Uh, like uh, There's a couple of Minecrafty vibes inside there. It's a very uh, promising early access game that shines right now with an extremely well-made, uh, well-polished user interface. There are so good little things hidden inside that game, making a uh, making automation and inventory management and crafting management a breeze, and uh, wholeheartedly recommended. Downside: not enough content. That's been the only downside that I found so far. Everything else. Pretty much fun. Well, okay, there, there's been one other downside. Magical weapons uh, were brutally overpowered in the previous version, but uh, I'm not going to mutter about balancing in an early access version game. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to talk about it, of course, because it has to be fixed in one way or another, but uh, I expect early access games to be imbalanced so to say. So there's lava, and uh, surprise news, lava hurts. Don't step on the lava. Ow, I hate zombie arches. So there we go. Ooh, another recall scroll. We might be actually this time not uh, going back home. 
think this time we're just going to uh, teleport back home. Still looking for two things, an iron deposit and a place where vampires spawn. Because vampires, with some luck, I'll be finding, uh, I'll be able to find a damn powerful weapon inside there. Be careful with the spider webs. The spider webs spawn pretty nasty uh, enemies. I bet, I bet I don't need to explain you which one, which type of enemy. And uh, they are pretty, they are pretty strong. And unlike the zombies, uh, a giant spider, I cannot uh, knock back just like that. Oh, I see iron. Before I mess around with the zombies, if possible, I would like to. I would like to have an iron sword, but it's not that much of a big deal. I think. I hope. I don't know. Oh yeah, and uh, armor was pretty underpowered in the previous version too. Felt a lot like uh, you better dodge that bullet uh, in the first place rather than relying on armor to soak it up. Or at least the big bosses felt like armor didn't really protect well for, uh, from them. But not as bad as in Kaplan. Okay, so... Let's get ourselves... There's another room there. But I wanted to check out where I saw the spiders. There was one room that looked pretty interesting. Slowly running out of torches here, so we're also... Ought to find some new, or... We're out of here pretty soon. Ah, oh, yeah, it's another... Uh... It's another layer. There it goes. Oh, they are already uh, coming around the corner. If you just get close to their lair. As you see here, quite a lot of them. And the worst about them is that they are pretty knockback immune. That's why I'm running ranked weapons and cheesing the AI. They can't pass through that, uh, through such a narrow thing. I know, ain't, ain't really nice, but uh, whatever, you know. Don't get me wrong, to me, exploiting uh, AI like that is uh, part of the game plan, ga gameplay. And you see here, the, usually the AI tries to uh, put a nope on, the, on my cheese. And uh, that stuff also hurts pretty much after. Look at that AI! Not bad. I'm almost dead, I'm better running away. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see. I have no clue if they can regenerate or not. I only know that the... Uh, Cave spider glands were pretty, uh, pretty good loot. I cannot remember uh, exactly what I was able to make out of that, but I do remember that it was uh, desirable. And now we've played enough with the spiders. So, uh, I don't know, do they regenerate? I'd say yes. Not sure about it, though. So, uh, Noble Horseshoe, another one of these. Combat Regen Potion, Torches. Combat Regen Potion increases health regeneration. I'd say. Cheers, dude. Okay, so, well, there's not really uh, anything looking like vampires here. If anything, it's looking like bad uh, news. So, I'm, uh, I'm out of here.
See you later, scrubs. Wow, they're quite, uh, quite a resilient bunch. There we go. More crates. That's good. Alright, but with so many recall scrolls, I have quite a uh, freedom of movement. That's cool. But let's see. I have 38 iron ore there, but I doesn't seem like I have any uh, iron ore back home, so... I'm considering to go back home for a uh, for an iron sword. So let's check out what we can do with these uh, spider, cave spider glands. So, oh yeah, you need those for the royal egg. That's one thing. Spider boomerang. Ooh. Venom staff. Oh yeah, spider staff. Yeah. Good stuff. This uh, game also features a lot of summoning, yeah, you know, like, uh, can have pretty many uh, companion mobs here. Eh, another copper vein, not interested. trick to get uh, done with the zombie archer, huh? Mysterious portal. Mm. I think that was needed to spawn boss here. Or the local bio boss, I should rather say. We are the vampires! Where did all the vampires go? I mean, we really did for quite a lot here already. So this looks like a uh, storage room of sorts. No, it's actually wall. I have uh, broken into a room. Into an actual room. Yeah, there's iron bar. Some iron arrow. Iron bomb. Food. That's good. And seeds. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, for practically all the seeds in this game I found in my last run underground. Oh, it comes back to me. find it so silly that you can't place those uh, witches through the walls. It's, it's just wrong. I don't care. So... Let's see. There's an iron ore vein, finally. There's vampires! Okay. Oh, I need to run. Okay, this, this, this is a little bit more dangerous. So... Usually, vampires are not outside of their biome that directly. Okay, I need to uh, run around. Extremely fast mo uh, mobs, very mobile, and uh, they got bouncy bullets. But the good news, you can't have that attack yourself too. 
Now I died. Well, okay. Doesn't matter too much. The stuff uh, does remain. My uh, my hotbar gear doesn't uh, disappear. I, I configured it like that. You can uh, configure the punishments for death the way you want them to. Ah, here. There's my last death. And I found, like, uh, losing all my backpack, but not the stuff I'm fighting with, was the ideal uh, feeling of, damn, I want that stuff back, and uh, not that much of, oh, I'm feeling like... Uh, like it sucks to die. I hate it when uh, when you're totally un unequipped and uh, you have to get back to your uh, to your place where you died and ah, uh, uh, it's just it's such a salty experience in my humble opinion. <laughs> it's blood magic, man. It's blood magic, there. It's their magicness oozing out of them or something like that. I don't know. So ironic, I, I think I killed them all before right before I died. But uh Woo! Zombie archer around the corner. Damn. There's a believer. Kaboom! Okay, man. That's new, and that's fun. <laughs> so here, uh, there, there's the vampire crypt, and there's more of these suckers. Damn. Uh, the thing here is, I really want to uh, pilfer that place, because... Um, the moment you have this attack whole dungeoneering part gets so much funnier. At least in my humble opinion, that is. So, also exploded the... Let's equip those horseshoe thingies. Oh, I can't only equip one of them, I see. Fake fangs, we need those. Oh yeah, let's place down a storage box there. Let's see, I don't really need that noble horseshoe. Bit of uh, that wood wall ain't that important either. Just want to free up some inventory space right now. Here. So. Oh, I found music. And uh, bat wings. Um, bat wings are also pretty important. All right. It seems like we we won. So. Masterful enchanting scroll. Holy crap. A nice enchantment. Soul enchanting thing is new. Yeah, I'm mining graves. So, let's see. Do I already have enough bat wings? Because if I remember correctly, Blood Bolt here. One book. And 10 bat wings. And uh, yeah, we can upgrade that. So, how do we make a book? That's the interesting question. I mean, one might think you'd need a piece of paper. So, let's see. Can I? Hmm. I cannot read that out. So, well. I now only knew how to make paper. You can also loot that uh, blood bolt out of these um, thingies there.
Okay then, but so far so good. Probably the next nest. bit of iron ore there. Gotta kite out that archer. I like those uh, uh, combat regen potions, I really do. Ah, you, they, they get... No. They're not disabled. Oh, God. I, I have a... Whatever. For a moment I thought it doesn't work while I'm in combat. yet again. Spiders are something that I don't want to uh, play around with until I have magic available. Okay. I didn't know that one yet. Must be pretty cool if you have secured the area completely already. Yeah, those zombies. I hate the, the zombie archers too, but on the other hand, without the zombie archers, there would be no pressure whatsoever behind the zombies, so... I think it's really good that they are there. Oh, we have reached the border of the map. Whoopsie. So every map has its end, you know. did get a big stash of stuff down here. And more iron ore. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's looking like a really, really big vein. Yeah, the skeleton, the, the local, uh, the, the, yeah. Skeleton archers are going to be very, very um, sad about being unemployed in this uh, regard. But always uh, remember, the zombie archer of today is the skeleton archer of tomorrow. It's all just a matter of decomposition. Good lord, enemy density is sky high here. Um. Guys, leave me alone, I just want that iron there. Stop invading my mining ops. Probably we're just seeing the uh, beginning of an industry here, and uh, we're taking it the wrong way. Alright, I think I finally cleared out enough area there. 
because that's seriously a lot of iron. That's really good. Ah, great. Okay. Pretty much expected that uh, zombie to come around the corner and ask me for my li mine for my mining license. But he must have uh, missed me. I like it that the zombies tend to drop uh, iron ore as well. I bet that I'm pretty stacked at this point. But I somehow can't stop uh, exploring right now. I mean, it all works out just fine after all. The water is also pretty uh, pretty useful against melee enemies, I noticed that. Good old overwall torch. Gotta say, if they if the devs ever decided to patch that out, I am going to miss that feature. So let's heal up a bit. I've learned one thing in my last run of Nessus. Use those potions. I was sitting on my potions the most time, and I... Uh, you find so many of them, you know. Whenever you have the feeling that the potion might be of any... Uh, of some use to you, use it by all means. So we found corn seeds. So after all, it's pretty important too to explore that much here. Because, like I already mentioned a, a moment ago, the seeds for uh, crops come mostly out of the uh, dungeon. If not all of them. So. Ooh. Spider land. Oh! Uh, yeah, that, that's how a uh, how a vampire lair usually looks like. Ow, I stepped into the lava. So we're going to uh, walk around that thing. Check it out from all angles. See if we can find an easier entry point. Where we can't fight well. Cleanse out other enemies out of the area, the usuals. There we go. And there's a lot of sarcophagi in there. That's how they usually look like. The other one was, was a very unlucky spawn with just one loot container inside. Lots of enemies in just one loot container. That was pretty bad. So, let's sip in the combat regeneration potion. <laughs> And that's another thing. If you open the box, the conditions of the fight are usually way, way better. Because I am... I'm way more in control here. There we go. Gold bar. More batwing. Iron arrow. Okay. Precise Vampire's Gift. Okay. Something for the trinket slot. Another enchanting scroll. And another enchanting scroll. So I wonder if... The drop rate for the Blood Bolt spell is just extremely low, if it has been removed altogether, or if I'm just unlucky. I would, uh, I would assume the latter. Whatever. 
Let's pick up some iron ore there and then let's head back. That's been hell of a trip already. And maybe I can find out how to uh, make paper. <laughs> Rimworld Terraria mod, yeah. That's a good uh that's a good summary in Eternity. That's a really good summary, how I would call it as well. It's a real cool part about this game that you get to build an entire village there. And those people they they really work like that. So here recall Ebold's protector. Yeah. Let's see. If it's still that easy. Okay, then. So, let's see. I got a meager amount of 150 iron ore that I want to smelt. Please begin. So, next up, I'm going to need more containers because that's just uh, not working out anymore. So, let's uh, get ourselves some storage boxes. need to organize all that crap. So, it's a little bit confusing, but uh, the, the stuff you place down is always facing the direction that your character is facing. So if you ever want to place something uh, properly, you have to adjust the facing of your character. It took me a while to get behind that. So let's see. Okay. Ugh. Let's put all the adventuring stuff in one potion. Uh, in one potion, exactly. So, all that arrow junk. Oh yeah, that wooden bow can go into the trash can, though. We don't need that anymore. And uh, all that building stuff goes in here. And with building stuff, I mean really exclusively building stuff. Hmm. So, just like that. Not sure how I would think about that stone, but for now it goes back in there too. Okay, so we got all these. So let's see. And the real fun part here is the workstation is able to access all the work, all, all the containers in that white uh, area here. That's amazing. I love that feature a lot because it really, really. Uh, comes in very very handy the only thing i'm missing is a search bar i don't know why the hell we ain't got a search bar here but it is as it is so blood bowl i still don't know how to make a book but i would assume a book contains maybe is maybe made out of leather what i do know is that we need more iron ore because there's uh let's see the carpenter's bench it's definitely another thing we're going to need. And for now, things are going to stand out in the open. For now. So, uh, no big surprise, the carpenter's bench is where all the um, more sophisticated furniture comes from. I'm merely looking if there is something like a book beyond among these things. No, it ain't. So, we have all that. Let's see, I already got the anvil. An alchemy table ain't possible because I don't have the necessary glass bottles for that. We could, though, get ourselves a shovel and see what happens if I put a bit of sand inside the so let's make ourselves a shovel so let's see golden stuff is actually better than 
It's silly, but whatever. Shears, a sickle, effective at harvesting grown plants. Okay. Definitely sounds like something that I want to have, but for now it's the shovel and the sword, please. Yes, thanks. So let's see if I can't get myself some sand there. I mean, alchemy table sounds like something where I could craft books too. Sand. So here's the power of the shovel. The shovel picks up uh, the rain blocks, leaving uh, naked, empty terrain blocks. So let's see. Yep, we can make this uh, the, exactly the way that I uh, that I guessed it would. And I even have some iron bars left over, but not too many. Jeez. Scary. But since the smelting process is uh, 4 ore to 1 bar, I'm not too surprised about that. So I want to smelt down that. Oh, a traveling merchant is arriving. And all that here is uh, is is the island that we can work with. It's a pretty it's a pretty large one, isn't it? So get that back in there. And I want the broken iron tools and the broken copper tools. And after that we're going to smelt that other stuff too. So alchemy table, where were you? Here, we need a 10 any log. Let's use that new, new and powerful axe. Look at that. It's actually really powerful. So, fertilizer, not now. Oh, a cooking pot. Should definitely consider that too. Alrighty, so... No book crafting here either. Dang it. Huh. Yo, my man. How much gold do I have? 2,800. So first of all, I want that potion po pouch, and I'll take that brain on a stick too. It's better than it sounds. Alright, and now let's... Uh, let's see if that works out as I think it does. Hmm, didn't I already own a mysterious portal there? here. So here, uh, let's see. Hello, I need protection. And that village elder dude is stupidly strong. All right, they uh, they fixed it out. He's not killing that guy anymore for me. So we're we're going to do this ourselves. Got it. So let's uh, sip in potions and uh, here. But that's uh, what the uh, shuriken are really, really good for. Do I have a cooldown on these? Obviously do. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, here's the mob.
And uh, the time limit there is a quite simple one. If you don't manage to kill the boss before the night's over, um, you've lost, basically. And you've taken too long. Oh, now Philip is uh, going ham. Now he's angry. Now he's angry. Okay, the trick's still working. This is so this is so new and so so funny because you know, I I'm not sure if this is really uh, intended by the devs because I'm basically abusing the uh, tutorial NPC. Oopsie. As you see here, he's damn strong. Yikes. Yeah, I'm sipping the potion though. No. Almost. Yeah, well, whatever. Too bad. Would have been quite, uh, quite cool, but... Uh, well, can't pull it off again without all those ninja stars. You let me down, Philip. It was only because you took so long to finally engage into that fight. You had doubts. I don't like it when my allies have doubts. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go again downstairs and see what we can do, I think. So we're now going to get ourselves some equipment together. Oh, whoopsie. Cosmetic slot. We, we need that. The thing here is I don't have enough iron on me yet to um, to forge myself together an entire set of iron gear, and uh, I think with uh, with enough ammo and uh, a bit a bit better armor, this would have been actually already a win. But I also got I also fell victim to uh, to my own greed. That uh, happens uh, sometimes to me in situations like these. So now we, uh, when you got that brain on the stick thing, you got, to su you got to summon until you have one with a bow on his back. Or, in, at least in my opinion, that's the better one. If you prefer a melee minion by all means, but I, I really love this guy. He's going ham on everything and everybody. That's why I bought that thing from the Traveling Merchant. It's pretty useful, actually. doesn't do terribly much damage but for one I look I like this guy because he gives me a nice pointer where there's enemies because usually that little critter sees them way before you do and the other thing is while I'm kiting he does actually deal damage it's not like he's ex entirely useless or anything like that so we do see here one issue though we seem to have explored a lot of this area already. It's only seemingly. So, let's see. There's a bit of uh, fire cave over there. So the next goal is basically quite simple. I want a full suite of iron gear. And I'm pretty sure that with that, we should be able to tackle down that boss. I'm gonna lie, I'm a little bit sad that I'm, I, I failed in the very last moment. But that's so me. It happens to me so often that at the very, 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 very last sliver of health, I... I mess up substantially and uh, and die because of that. There we 
Go. I like to give a bit of an extra spacing around the lava pools because they really hurt a ton. Oh, I'm extremely hungry too. Let's have some dungeon corn. Oh, I looted another mysterious portal, so we can summon that baddie one more time. That's a good thing. Oh, I think I found some gold ore. Oh, and also the enemy can't attack your minion. It's another real cool part there. Oh, I picked up that mine card. Hmm. Thinking more closely about it, it ain't that bad, you know? Having my own mine card and all. Yep, that's gold work. A possible upgrade for my tool slots but I always find golden uh, golden mining gear too ridiculous to, uh, to pull it off yeah there is that 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 angle where you can slide in and uh, kick butt on these uh, zombie archers without them having a chance to retaliate on me. And I think I missed out a iron ore patch back there. Small one. But I gotta admit, partially I'm also very, very much on the hunt for vampire nests. As soon as I have killed that boss, every ore will be interesting though, because then we unlock the next tier of gear, and uh, I can only spoiler so much, it'll allow me to utilize every ore for that new material. Pretty cool. Can practically transform everything into some new, better material after that. But not more spoilers incoming. So... Oh. Let's see. It's a container, isn't it? Yeah, cabbage. Containers contain the food. Exactly, okay. You can also craft yourself a uh, staircase somewhere else, of course. The lack of vampires here disturbs me. So far, I only found two nests. Seems like they become a lot rarer. So, oh, there's an anvil. Mm hmm, mm hmm, all right. And ninja star coins and cabbage seeds. There we go. I guess pretty soon I'm going to own all the various uh, seed types, but that's not an issue at all. Quite the opposite is the case.
Keep mind, zombie. Oh, look at that. I mind myself into a room with a chest. So, yeah, inventory is uh, pretty full again. Let's see. Extra summon speed. I thought that would be a great thing to have on my on my little critter there. Oopsie. Cool. Oh, here we have a uh, trapped room. Primitive heavy hammer. Throw small stones. Uh, well, that's a bad enchantment on it. But that's pretty much a lucky day for me. If I remember correctly, that's one of those very first ranged weapons. Yeah, it is. Alright. It has pr pretty, pretty crappy stats, but, uh... At least it's a ranged weapon with infinite ammo. And, um... That's very, 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 very important to have. Ooh, look at that. Big iron deposit, too. Okay, now we can take that boss one more time. But first, let me uh, craft my iron gear. <laughs> Pretty sure that we should be able to get a nice amount of stuff going on there. You filthies. I mean, the sword always keeps some qualities. Especially during the early game. But a uh, ranged weapon without ammo is just a very, very priceless asset. As you see here, against larger amounts of uh, in incoming enemies, it ain't that good at all. But uh, against those fat spiders, it's really awesome. And where there's light, there's no more cobweb, of course. Light is the ultimate uh, monster biome killer here in this game, of course. But I guess you're not too surprised about that anymore. So what do we have here? Sluggish Zephyr Boots. Um, okay. I don't like that. I don't want a trinket that allows me to sprint and while making me globally slower. Well, thanks, but no thanks. So, another spider incoming. But as you see there, they are a lot less of a pain to deal with this way. Considering myself very happy that I found this uh, hammer thingy. It's a crappy version of it, too. So this can be a lot better, too. Ugh, gosh.
But on the other hand, all those spider glands are pretty useful too. And here you see, melee is really, 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 really not uh, what you want to do against these guys. You're totally going to get smacked if you try to melee those spiders ever. Because they don't suffer from knockback. It's a simple sol uh, answer there. Uh, it's awesome. It just doesn't have uh, enough content to uh, avoid. But beyond that, it's a great game. And I went back into it because the new... Um, version is promising new content. It's not that terribly much new content though, I can already see where the new content will end. But uh, we have a new biome, we have new equipment, we have new things we can work for, uh, towards too. So there is quite a lot of goodness uh, going on these days. Oh, wheat seeds. Nice, I want those. But um, yeah, it's still it's still an early access game, and its biggest downside, as far as uh, as far as my opinion goes, is that there is not enough content. I, I said it uh, before, like that, it's uh, the biggest downside of this game is that there is not enough content, but that's practically the biggest downside. There's a couple of balancing issues that I've been not too happy with in the former versions, and I'm pretty sure that these will, uh, th that these will still hang around for a while longer, but, uh, well... It's, like I said, early access. Not uh, not expecting an early access title to be extremely uh, awesomely balanced and all. So we're going to go upstairs again. This doesn't uh, get us anywhere anymore. We're, uh, we're running circles here. Okay. So how much night is there left? Uh, not much. So, judging from what I know already, Void, I would say right now the game will still not offer you nearly as much content as fully released games do, of course. But I don't think you expected that. The cool part about it is that there's already a lot of smart automation tools inside there. And it, uh, it it's really easy to manage your your uh, your colony at some point. The workbenches are extremely smart. Like for example, the, all the workbenches around here will access uh, surrounding containers, so you don't have to carry the materials you want for crafting issues there in inside your inventory whenever you want to craft something. No, no, you can't just. Uh, let the AI handle that. So, let's see. I want to set up another container. Then we're going to set up some armor. And then we're going to smack down that boss. I hope. I really do hope. So, let's make ourselves another storage box. Because I want some... Uh, some storage for um, for the crops because I have found so many seeds and I don't want to hang around that. So for example here you can also um, if I remember correctly quick stack to inventory. There were um, some options which allowed you to uh, also stack stuff uh, that's already in the chest out of your inventory on top of that. So lots of little smart uh, things happening there. Let's keep that cabbage for our private consumption. Peter the Angler is arriving. Okay. So let's grab ourselves that iron ore. And let's see, I need a helmet, and I need those boots. Okay, we have now an armor rating of 18. Really hope that's going to be enough. So, let's sleep through and uh, wait for the evening, or the night I should rather say. And we're going to summon another boss. 
Because the reward for uh, smacking the boss is really good. There we go. Well, let's try that one more time. So this time I got a ranged weapon, and this time my uh, my village elder is not uh, trolling me. Okay. Well, kind of like. He keeps going on out there. But uh, the damage per blow incoming is a lot lower than the last time. So, let's swap on back to the weapon we want. Ow, I'm almost dead, dang it. What's that black stuff? Who does shoot that? Look seriously. It's the boss, okay. So... My stupid village elder is letting me down one more- once more. Ah, he's almost dead, I see. Yeah, so they, they nerfed that a bit, I see. I mean, this has been stupidly strong in the past before. So basically, he's uh, charging in, and then he's uh, healing up, and then he's uh, coming back, okay. So I got one more health potion left. He did tank an entire volley for me. Good man. So yeah, the armor does do a lot for me here. We did it! Thanks, man. Alright, so I can remember that in the previous version it was a lot easier to cheese out uh, the... Um, the victory with, uh, with the help of a village elder. Okay. So, that means we are past the uh, utmost tutorial, so to say. We got now access... Oh, we got a lunchbox. Hmm. Demon Heart. Permanently increases max health to 200. Yes, please. Yum. Force of Wind. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh... Trinket ability slot. Oh yeah, here. Now we can dash. Comes with a 3 second cooldown, but it's pretty good. Magic Fukai. Increases magic damage, decreases non-magic damage. So... Not that cool, but... Uh... We got Demonic Bars. If I remember correctly, the Demonic Bars are the real jackpot out of that. Now we should be able to make ourselves our first Demonic Workstation, exactly. And the Demonic Workstation is pretty fun, actually. So now we can craft ourselves our own Demonic Portals. I still ain't got no clue where I'm supposed to get a book from. But maybe here. Now, Blood Volley? Yeah. Crafting Guide. And the Demonic uh, Crafting Bench can do practically everything your regular workstation was able to do. It's just one with more extras. 
so the reverse search, I either haven't found it yet or uh, not there. So a magic, uh, a wood staff, magic damage 22. Now that sounds like something I'd like to uh, pick up. Gold bar, bat wing, got all the stuff I need. it needs. Here you have, um, also here, demonic bars, craftable out of every uh, other stuff. We can now make ourselves a demonic, uh, a new demonic set. And an advanced workstation made out of tungsten bars and quartz. Explorer Cloak gives land and sea mobility out of combat, okay. That's a new thing. Royal Egg, big yuck. Yeah, we're, we're going to craft ourselves that wood staff. I want to see how that uh, is uh, working on out in detail. So, a lot slower than the other thing. Well, I'm going to end this stream at that point. I thank each and everybody a lot for hanging out and being good company. I hope you enjoyed your first impression of the game. This stream will continue featuring everything. Next stream we're going to set up some structures and uh, do a little bit of more of the settlement building, or I hope so. And yeah, if this has been a video on demand for you, comments go down below. Thumbs up helps a ton, and of course, consider subscribing. I'd be delighted if you did. Also, check out the description box. You will find my Patreon there, where you can influence what kind of content will show up in the future. And if you want to support me directly via PayPal, I'd deeply appreciate. Because all my content will always stay free, no paywalls incoming, don't worry, and I can use all the help that I can get. Besides that, thanks for watching even that ad. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you come on by next time as well. See you there. Bye-bye.